So what is Dehancer? Dehancer is a film emulation plugin for both videos and photos. Dehancer Photo is a color grading plugin and is available for Photoshop, Lightroom Classic, Capture One and Affinity. They also have a plugin for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, After Effects and Final Cut Pro. But in this review I'm talking specific about the film emulation plugin for Lightroom Classic, which was designed for still photography. With this color grading plugin you can achieve the looks and feels of classic traditional film photography. So what's so special about it? Dehancer gives you detailed control about film grain, halation, bloom and much more. Besides that, Dehancer Photos provides us users currently with 63 film profiles. I do like shooting film but in the same way I enjoy using my digital camera and the process of color grading. For me color grading is one way to express my creativity to the art form. Therefore I was really excited to test out the film emulation plugin for Lightroom Classic. So before we start we want to prepare the picture. So what we want to do is to reduce the contrast of the image. If the image looks too muddy and dark then you probably have to reduce the contrast even more before importing to Dehancer. So let's crop the picture and correct the white balance. So I think this is a little bit too warm so I make it like a little bit cooler. And maybe give it a little bit more green tint to it. Yup, that looks good. Maybe adjust the brightness a little bit. So once the image is prepared, you can import it to Dehancer. Right click on your image, add it in, and then click on Add it in Dehancer Lightroom plugin. Now we have open Dehancer, you can see on the left we have some presets. I think it's pretty much self-explained, but I have to say there are some good ones you can choose from. So if you want to edit your image fast, you can choose one of those and you will still be able to make some adjustment afterwards. But for this video I want to start from the beginning, so I can show you guys how I edit my image to look like film. Alright, so click on Film Profiles and enable it. First we have Film Types, here you can choose your film stocks by categories. Let's select all films so you can see all 63 film profiles. Underneath you have a push and pull slider. By pushing the image it gets darker and more towards magenta, by pulling it it gets brighter and warmer. So I want to recreate a Cinestill 800T look, so let's just take the Cinestill profile to start with. As you can see there's plenty of profiles to choose from. I also like the Kodak Vision but let's keep the Cinestill for now. So let's start with Source. Here we can make some minor adjustments. For example adjusting the brightness, temperature and tint. And correcting chromatic aberration if you didn't do it before. Alright next we have Film Developer. Let's boost the contrast a bit. And the rest we keep it how it is. Okay, next up we have film compression. Let's enable it. By toggling it on and off you can see what it does with your image. As you can see it does bring the highlights a bit down. This actually works pretty well to preserve the highlights from blown out. Next we have Expand, here we can adjust the black and white point to give it more of a faded look. Mm -hmm. 
Next, let's enable print. This is actually the process what the negative looks like when it has been printed on paper. So here in profile we can choose the paper the negative is printed on. Let's take the Fujifilm 3513 print film. It does add a little bit more of a green tint to it. By turning it on and off you can see what it does to your image. But I think I want to increase the contrast a bit more, kind of like this. Alright, next we have color head. Basically what we can do here is adjust the color, for example more toward blue or yellow. But let's make it a bit warmer and maybe shift the colors a bit towards cyan. You can also enable gang. What it does, it allows you to select all three sliders at the same time. But for now, let's keep it how it was before. For better control, underneath you have three sliders where you can adjust the colors of the highlight, midtones and shadows. Next, let's go to vignette. I think this is pretty much self-explained. Here we can adjust the exposure, aspect ratio and so on. Okay, next up we have film grain. So before we toggle it on, let's zoom in so we can have a detailed look what it does to our image. Alright, let's enable it. So first we can adjust the size of the grain. Let's put it somewhere here. Let's reduce the amount a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Next we have the resolution. By pulling it all the way up and down we can see what it does. But for now I will leave it where it was. Let's search for a darker part in the image so we can adjust the grain in the shadows. As you can see by pulling and pushing the slider, the grain only affects the darker areas in the photo. So let's reduce the grain a bit in the shadows like this. Next, let's go to the midtones. Let's reduce it here a little bit. And maybe also in the highlights. So here we can adjust the color of the grain. The difference between grain in Lightroom and grain in Dehancer is that the grain in Lightroom is monochromatic, which if we look at real color films, it always has color grain. Next we have Bloom, so by toggle on the mass mode you can see which area is affected. So what Bloom does is, it takes the light source and give it kind of a misty hazy glow to it. The effect is similar to a black pro mist filter. In this case let's reduce it by a bit, I think like this is fine. Okay, last but not least, we have halation. So if you don't know what halation does, it simply gives the image a reddish glow in high contrast area. It's the characteristic of the film stock Cinestill 800T. Since we want to recreate that film look, this is of course has to be added. Same here, by toggling on the mass mode, we can see the affected area. Okay, that's definitely too much, so let's bring it back down a bit. Let's zoom in a bit more so we can have a better control of what we are doing. Alright, let's see the before and after. 
I'm really happy with the result. So to finish it up, by pressing OK, we export the image back to Lightroom. Dehancer also offer a iOS app. It's compatible both with iPhone and iPad. There is both photo and video editor in the app. The video editor features additional tools such as skate weave and film breath. Dehancer app isn't just an ordinary app with filters. There are years of scientific research behind their technology. Overall, the colors and the tools you get in the app are similar to the ones in the desktop plugin. So here are some examples I edited with my iPhone using the Dehancer app. So if you want to edit your photos and videos to look like film, I think Dehancer is by far the best plugin to use. You can use the code ICEFALT on checkout to save 10% off your purchase. So thank you Dehancer for letting me review your product and thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.